the night like an ember And all those things we tried forgetting I remember But we say we all fine, we all fine Sunny day dreams and we up now Vodka lemonade, I serve it up, it goes down What's up, Ashes family? family? Welcome back to a very... Oh, well. He's back. nervous. <laughs> I'm actually nervous. <laughs> Welcome to a very special vlog today. Probably the hardest vlog we've done, eh? Yeah. yeah. So we're going to be reacting to um, a video that um, that was done a year ago. You guys have probably... You guys have most likely seen it on the Lil Sub vlog because I know that a lot of you guys comment about it as well in our videos. Um, but this is the video of when Dana came to Adelaide um, for our daughter Angelina and so everything was recorded um, up until the day she passed away. So this video was done a year ago today and the funny thing is that this is actually the very first time we're going to be seeing it. Like It's been up for a whole year and it's all about our daughter but it's still the very first time that we've seen it. <laughs> I don't know, just for myself, it's yeah, it's probably going to be the hardest video to watch. So yeah, we're going to be reacting to it for the very first time. Again, you will most likely see some tears in here. From all. <laughs> and from another lady that's in the back <laughs> that we'll probably identify later. And this lady's going to be in the video, like the first thing that you're, <laughs> <laughs> the first thing that you're going to see in the video. This girl is also going to be starting up the HP Girls. <laughs> of the HP boys and so look out for her new album coming out <laughs> look out for her new album that's coming out and, and whatnot what you know about no. bad oh. but anyways let's get to the video yeah <laughs> what is up everyone today is a pretty crazy vlog um I just got to work and then I got a message from my little mom her baby um Angelina Adelaide Matikohe now now um i literally just got to work and messaged me saying that um they couldn't wait till sunday to turn off baby's um oxygen machine and uh, they'll be doing it tomorrow and honestly my heart was just like what like you know, the plan of salvation is real and, um, you know, having faith in Heavenly nah. Father's plan is the one thing that I've always oh, encouraged her to do it. and so forth. And, you know, you're human. You're only human to really um, feel sad. Just like not, not, not sad in like a bad way, like an angry way. It's more like sad that, you know, we weren't able to, you know, like watch her grow. And do you know what I mean? Like things like that. And it just makes me really sad and like I could just hear in her message that she just like really wanted not only me but like everyone there to be with her and especially because she's in Adelaide and they got no family in Adelaide and it's kind of like you know and so like I'm just thinking like you know if you have kids and they're like annoying the crap out of you and you just really want to punch them in the face because they're being a little crap it's like just try to stop and think about those who are going through these kinds of moments where they have to like they don't have that choice to um you know be angry at their kids and things like that it's like you know sometimes when your kids hurt you you think that's probably the worst thing that they could ever do but actually not actually having them in your life is probably the worst thing if that makes sense so i am i left work early because i just couldn't be in there and i just kept crying because like i'm just sad for mo and i am honestly so broke but and i wish i could fly down but the only thing i have is this car and so it's an eight hour drive and i was just like you know what i'm going like i my mom and then my mom and dad know that i always try and go to these things and they'll always give me like a lecture but and like you know you don't need to be there just pray for them and stuff but like with me i'm always that type of person that like needs to be there for them i don't know i don't really know if it's really for them or if it's for me like just to really like help my own self but i'm on my way and i just hope and pray that heavenly father is with me as i'm doing my prayer now our heavenly father i love thee and i say these things in the name of jesus christ So I'm going now and I will try and vlog as much as I can but yeah I'll try and get there as fast as I can. Love you guys. As 
sind welche noch <lacht> mask off from um, Angelina and um, Mo was holding her at the time man you can see it in the video um, but she was like holding her heart and um, but one thing you couldn't see in the video was that um, was what you were saying do you remember what you were saying so when I took the oxygen mask off it was actually the first time we've seen her face without anything on it without any um, tubes I think it's the second time oh, but yes. longer yeah, yeah, longer. And um, I remember you were saying, you were just, you were praying hard out, and you were saying, 
how much you didn't want her to to go and you're you're just asking her to fight um to stay there to be with us but well i'll never forget that um I mean, even though like i don't know it was like the hardest hardest moment eh? hardest time but i don't know for, for me i felt um heaps at peace knowing that he didn't have to have any more um, oxygen tubes inside of her. Um, yeah, just go through some of the things that she had to go through. <laughs> yeah, I think it was definitely hard because, I don't know, like just holding your child and... <laughs> <laughs> and them taking their last breath on your arm uh, yeah I do remember that that I was had out praying to have like father like like but I was saying like you know if it be his will like I want nothing more than and then our daughter being here with us but I did know that like at the end of the day that when she passed away, um, I was at peace also knowing that she was she was at rest from all the tubes that we watched for almost six six months um, on her face um, and all the the machines that she was surrounded by um, and yeah like she definitely proved to us so how <laughs> She definitely proved to us of how strong she fought her battle. Um, and yeah, like, and like even us ourselves, it was like, we weren't shocked that she lived for that long because, you know, we had all the faith in the world and we knew that she was strong and that she was going to fight for as long as she could. Um, but yeah, I think it was shocking for everyone else and especially the doctors too. Mm that day that she lived for almost six months um, and yeah so we're, we're definitely grateful for all those six five five and a half months that we got to spend with our daughter up until the day she took her last breath mm -hmm. um, and you know she may not be here with us physically but um, you guys know that we we do have her ashes so that comforts us um, every day knowing that you know, we, you know, that we do have, we do have this part of her with us, um, on the daily, but that video was hard to mm -hmm. watch, literally hard to watch, um, the part where Regina was saying where I was, like, holding my heart like this, like, literally that moment, like, I don't know, like, I could not, like, I, yeah, I was, like, struggling to breathe, and, like, um, and the reason I say that video was, was hard because, um, yeah, I, I felt just like that just a few seconds ago when we were reacting to the video. I remember the, um, the last thing I said to her before, um, before she took her last breath when I was holding it, um, was, I was just said thank you, eh, because, like, it was... I don't know, like, I sort of feel a lot of the things that happen to her, the tubes and oxygen, um, were because of us and because we wanted her to be here with us. Um, and so she had to join a lot to give us um, the time that we had, those five and a half months, to be her parents. Even though that was still her parents now, but yeah, that was my last words um, to her was, was thank you. And to this day, I'll still say um, thank you to our daughter Angelina for for the time that you gave us um, with you and for, I don't know, changing our lives. I probably would have started this journey um, together um, without her. Definitely would have started it because we weren't about that vlogging life. Well, I wasn't about that. <laughs> we don't like those vloggers. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think we're gonna finish up here so my wife can go fix up her face. <laughs> Guess all the tears, but no <sighs> doubt some of you are crying behind this camera. So. <laughs> then I'm more, I know you're crying right now. <laughs> As I said before, mentioned before, that you guys have definitely seen it on the list of vlogs. Um, but yeah, and so this is another reason we're grateful that the Lilsa vlogs were able to capture those moments um, and this is why we vlog is so that we can look back and watch our family memories even though it literally took us a year today <laughs> to watch this one but we we got there we are truly grateful for all our Ashes family out there for um, all your continuous messages. You guys always send us messages privately and as well as on our um, our, our channel. Um, you know, just your words of love. Um, it, it truly does mean a lot to us. Um, especially, especially. <laughs> especially at this time um, of the year. Uh, we are gonna close up the vlog by <laughs> now because I'm going to continue to cry. But we do love and appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time, we love you.